Welcome back Bordeaux lifers. Um, by now, I think from the last vlog, I've probably got a load of comments talking about not supporting these beams correctly uh, or not attaching them correctly. Well, you all jumped the gun, didn't you? I didn't have chance to get the work done until today, but I'm gonna be using these to connect the beams up. Um, basically, we're gonna drill holes, put these through, nuts on either end and it's just going to kind of bolt those beams together better than the screws. Screws are great and you know there's no problem but these will just make sure 100% we don't have any problems of the beams falling apart. Yesterday afternoon we managed to get one more beam kind of uh, support on the left hand side and then uh, I was too tired so I left this last kind of supporting beam here to Louis this morning he's done a great job this morning got that on for me so as soon as we bolted these up we're going to try taking the acros down that'll be the moment of truth Anna yes Ed I have a confession go on what you is even, it you've not even noticed it I don't know what I'm meant to notice. Oh my God, no, I didn't see it. The chimney. Well, yeah, the little fireplace. It, it, was, it was absolutely rotten. It was actually a metal fireplace, absolutely rotten. Tubes have come out. We're gonna get these out, but we're gonna just get them out delicately uh, with a hammer. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it's just gonna give us a bit more space to work. That's why we did that. And uh, we weren't gonna keep it anyway. Well. So. To be fair, I think I didn't, number one, I didn't see it. Number two, I can see the nice arched stones now. God, so. God knows whether that was actually for the fireplace or whether it was just done like that anyway. With the work and uh, get those bolts in through the beam. Attends, parce que, oui, tu peux commencer. De préparer ça si tu veux. Ouais. Là. Allez. Ouais, ça, je vais mettre en haut parce qu'on va avoir besoin. Hop. We can start with the one up top there that's right on the end because that's where all the pressure is going to be. Uh, oui, j'ai besoin de deux rondelles, oui, s'il vous plaît. On est passé, Louis Ça, c'est pas normal. Mais oui, mais ça se voyait qu'il se dévissait. Provisse-le. Oui, mais t'as rien dit. Hein non, tiens-le en même temps. I'm good at getting it in, but Louis is a lot better at getting it out. <laughs> OK, tu me cherches le marteau, s'il te plaît? Je suis désolé. Je suis là, So you're all probably going to wonder why the hell do I not cut it first? Well, I've not got a huge amount that's going to be left over each time. So basically, I'm going to get the I'm going to get the nut on first, tighten it up, and then cut it so there's no wastage on the uh, bars. Pas facile. Mais une fois que c'est commencé, je pense. Okay. 
Attends, attends, attends. Comment on va faire euh... On ne peut rien faire l'autre. Hein. It gets easier as it goes because after this one we'll be cutting it. Yeah? That's going to be easier, no? Basically, these nuts actually don't come back off because they've got the, the locking bit on them. Stop screwing it up, Louis. <laughs> After this one, we can, we can just measure what's left and, and cut another one out of it then. Right on, but... Ah. Lou, what were you saying before? That Ed was a very good teacher. Yes, very patient. He learned me so much. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> but with patience... He see. teaches you things. Yeah. Louis is my understudy. I don't know what that means. Pedagog, <laughs> yes. <laughs> What is it, Anna? Well, like, I think it's like a teacher, but like a very good one. One that loves to teach. Yes, like everyone. There. Louis, before you know it, you're going to be doing this for yourself. <laughs> Never mind hats. How's the hat business going? Pretty good. Growing up, I'm working so hard on the side with the... <laughs> They look really good. Yeah. Thank you. But you've got some, some like kind of good contacts where you're doing some good advertising, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I try. It's, it's hard to work on the hats and communicate on the social media, but it's quite cool. And the feedbacks are good, so <laughs> this is nice. Enjoying myself, enjoying my job. Okay, let's give it a rest. How many do you want to put? Four? Six in total. We're going to cut them though after this, because we'll know that they're okay lengths. We just need to make sure that we've got enough. Nearly there, boys. Yeah, that's not annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Come get a shot round here, and I won't drop the spanner on your head. <laughs> that's why I went away. Come on, over here, because it's the last little bit now. It's the best bit. The bit that makes all the difference. Well, the, best the for last, last. The last centimetre. I don't stop, because I think it's going to come out a bit. Is it turn or is it turn? It's not turn. Hey, it's not even frappé. Why is it not frappé? That's it, boys, you've done it. I told you that three centimetre extra made all the difference, Louis. We should just about get that, 67 and a half, so out of a metre. So we, uh, we cut this off, cut it in two, and we'll be fine. Thanks for the disc cutter, Louis. <laughs> you were just testing me, weren't you? Ok Louis, tu veux le couper exactement de Tu y arrives C'est pas très compliqué. Hein? Non. So Louis be left with the task of cutting it in the middle. 67 and a half. 33.7. Six, uh, 67.5, oh, right, 33.75. That half a millimetre makes a big difference, Louis. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be cutting 133.6 and 
It's a little bit hot, that one. Touch my leg. Is yours the same size as mine, Louis? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ah, stop. Est-ce que je peux avoir un rondel, s'il te plaît? Ça, c'est top, nickel. Par contre, je ne sais pas comment on va bloquer. Derrière. <laughs> Louis, yeah. I think this is a two-person job, isn't it? Yes. Tu t'en? Euh, moi, ça vient vers moi, en fait. Viens de cette côté de séquence, s'il te plaît, Louis. OK. Right, Louis, you get the back side, I'll get the front. <laughs> C'est bon, c'est bon, c'est ce que je veux. Ce que tu veux. Oui, on ça. Tant que c'est passé le plastique de mon côté, oui. si tu trouves que c'est moche, on peut le recouper. Hein. Oui. Ah, es au bout, là. Tu me passes le, la disqueuse, s'il te plaît. Oui. Get rid of any imperfections on the end of the uh, bolt with the disc cutter, just so the nut goes on better. Now the nut's just going to go straight on there. What's going on, Ed? You want to let? Who? Me? <laughs> shall we? Did shall we say? That? Shall we say it's me then, Louis? <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. You do realize this is home branding uh, tape measure. It's very expensive. Yeah. Really good. Wow. Okay, Louis, okay. because I'm pushing, the ladder needs to be like that, not like that. Okay. Comme ça, je pousse et je tombe pas. Ou, euh, ouais, ça ira. Ici, je pense, non? C'est euh, mieux. Si tu... Ouais, voilà. Yeah. It's not fair really, because it's just going to burn out. It's not for big jobs like this, but I should really have a more powerful drill, but my drill's not particularly powerful. You coming out, Louis? Yes. Tu tiens? Oui. Tu vas en bonne direction, hein? Tu es déjà passé le plastique? Oui. Ah, ok, je m'en fous alors. Oui. Allez, allez, on y va. C'est pas grave. Je te dis quand il faut arrêter. Hein. Ouais. Moi là, je suis au bout. Là. Non, continue. Parce que. Ton, ta poutre, il y a un trou, hein? Oui. Je, je peux pas plus. Tu peux pas plus? You're not a strong non, guy. Je peux pas plus. Ok. We're good. Ok. okay. Louis, on, Louis, on pousse là-bas d'abord. Hey, T'as vu le gueule de la côte Lève tes pieds, on y va. Fais attention, il y a un trou derrière toi. So we move the scaffold over to the other side. I'm just going to bolt up the other side. And then it's the moment of truth. Will that work when we take the acros out? I will try it. <laughs> Best place for it is under this where this beam comes down. It's got quite a bit of weight on it. So I'm going to put my, my, uh, my bolt through here and two more.
good on it. No more battery, no more Thanks. juice. No more juice. <sighs> oh, look at that. Tu peux le mettre de à charger, s'il te plaît? Just with a look, yeah. Louis knows. Louis knows, before I shout. You never shout out. C'est pour toi, pour le, la visqueuse. Après, je suis prêt. Same size? I'll, I'll be the judge of that. Clean those up a bit. Where's my goggles gone? Done it, boys. It's looking good. Don't be premature. I know we've got one to do. Oh, I didn't. I got bored, so I stopped filming. I thought you'd done it already. Are we... The master is letting the apprentice do the work. Oh, yes. J'ai entendu ça. Ça y est? Non. Qu'est-ce qui t'arrive? Qu'est-ce qu'il y a? Ah. C'est moi qui fais. <rire> tu as dit tout à l'heure que tu... Oh, oh, ça tourne, ce ouais, côté. Non. Pourquoi Parce que tu tiens pas assez fort. Attends, attends, il y a un problème. Là. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a Ça tient le bien. Ok, oui. Tu m'as dit quand c'est bien. Attends. Go on, Anna, say a line. I, I forgot now. <laughs> you've done it, boys. It's yes, looking we've really done it. good. <sighs> now the moment of truth. Come on, Louis. Oh. Oh. <sighs> right, and I get back behind that beam, a little bit further back, please. I will do it. Just okay. in case. Yeah, I can stay here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, you ready? You're watching, yeah? The beam. Okay. You wanna take that away for me? Okay. For the time being, just put it over there. We'll deal with that after. There's a bit of a crack in the wall, but it, it's uh, 
it's not straight crack, it hasn't cracked through the stones, and it's not the beams that are doing it, so I'm happy with that. Okay, Louis, moment of truth. <laughs> Time for an advert. <laughs> you cheeky thing. Let's discuss. Okay. I think it's coming loose. You know what that means. It's done its job. Well done. That, that was beam, hard work. That beam is now being supported here at the wall, even though we cut the rotten end off. That's a really, really big step forward on the project because that was dangerous as it was. Um, we had to quickly get an acro under it when we saw that it was really rotten like that. And you can't really leave it on acros. The wood down here wasn't in good condition either. We had to acro that up from underneath as well. It was just a mess. Thankfully, we got it fixed with uh, Denny's advice. And uh, right now it looks really dirty. All the new beams look as if they've got a horrid, grubby paw prints on them. But when we've cleaned everything off and then we paint it up with white paint, it's still going to look stunning. We're moving on to this beam here now. So here, I'm wanting to take this wall down and support the roof here. So I'm going to put a beam in here with uh, a little bit of packing here for the beam. So same again over there. We're going to screw into these beams going that way. And so basically it's nice and rigid together and supported underneath. And then we can take the rest of the wall down, which opens up the bathroom for us. Ça va au dessus, ça pas de soulever le tin. Donc tu veux faire quoi couper Mais déjà, je vais peut-être juste bouger et voir si ça bouge. Parce qu'à mon avis... On n'a pas la masse là. Ah, là. je l'avais en bas. Celle-là euh, Mais il est là, le pote. I can get it, I can get it. Ok, Louis, let's get these stones out. On va le descendre de ton côté. Ha, ha, ha. 
Tranquille, oui. Là, tu as. Non, je pense que je peux, mais autant faire un Non, non, tu vas te casser le dos. So, Louis wants to carry that on his own. But realistically, it is too heavy. Three more. C'est bon, je peux le remettre. C'est bon. Il va venir tout seul. Est-ce que le reste de mur bouge aussi Oui. Ouais. C'est celui-là qui bouge. Celui-là, je veux garder en plus. As I thought, this, this wall's not in the best of condition, and as we move this stone, we've got cracks appearing and other bits of the wall moving. Um, it would have been fine to, to actually keep this wall, could have just repointed it and it would have solidified. But now we're taking it down as such. We need to we need to be really careful. And I want to keep till here because my beam's gonna sit on, on this, what, nearly 40 centimeters. Um, and the same on the other side, we'll keep about 40 centimeters. It means we lose a bit of the opening, but I want to be safe and I want it to all be structurally sound. Of course, safety first. Mais... Mais... Ouais. Non, j'essaie de garder cette pierre hein, parce qu'il commence à bouger un peu plus. Ouais, je regarde juste le mur. Tu es prêt Un, trois. Ouais. En fait, je ne peux pas tourner ouais, avec ouais. parce que c'est là où je fais mal au dos. Ouais, ouais. The next ones are real big stone. Thankfully, they're not too wide. J'arrête là. Attends. Pas. Un, deux, trois. Allez. C'est bon.
Take five, Louis. Ça, c'est le plus dur. Après, avec euh, Cyril, ça va partir vite. Ça bouge Non J'arrive. You've done it, boys. We've done it, huh, Louis? Yeah. Easy. Not this one? No. <laughs> Finish there. Okay, so we're gonna now cut the beam. I want it to be really kind of flush, pushing on the two big beams, and so we can screw in and it's kind of well taken. We've also got to build it up to support it. With taking this wall down, I don't want to get too close to the beams. This beam and the other one. So I'm gonna leave about 40 centimeters either side. When uh, Cyril gets here, we're gonna cut a line in the stone using that special stone saw. We're gonna cut it straight down. And that leaves us a good 40 centimeters before this beam. Um, same again on the other side. On va mesurer maintenant. 277 et demi. On le veut ici alors. Mettre à la tienne d'abord. C'est très très bien ça, parce qu'on est presque là et ça va. Mais on plaque, on plaque contre le bois. Oh non. Ah oui. Oui. Donc si tu. Euh, je pense à trois. Ah. Encore une. Ça passe pas Attends, je vais les trois Il faut que mon côté s'est levé, c'est ton côté. Attends, je sors. Je sors. Là. Tu peux le lever comme tu veux maintenant. Ok. Tu veux peut-être faire la mienne aussi Allez. Oui, garde, garde le poutre, s'il te plaît. Si tu peux me tenir les briques, là. Oui. Tu 
up. Not torn. They got these in cold beer comps now. The beam's wedged in now, and I've screwed a couple of screws in either side just to kind of hold it there whilst we work. But what we need to do now is uh, block up underneath uh, the beams. So we're going to use these little shoot, these little kind of bits of uh, brick that we took out the walls, and we're just going to block it up under the beam to just give it more support. Uh, this mist makes in cement, haven't you? Oh yeah. Huge volumes here. Louis, did you have a good time? <laughs> well, I'm trying to be nice with the neighbors. Of course, Louis is the nicest. Even helping the neighbors when of they course. have humidity problems, Louis gives advice. Of course. It's free to be nice and free. Huh? I know you like what is free. <laughs> <laughs> Écoute, Louis, c'est free d'aller chercher des briques encore. Louis getting you more bricks. Yeah, I'm doing a little supporting wall here so that, uh, you know, just so that this, uh, this beam has something to sit on, really. Well, I'm, I'm just having to make sure I get all the plaster off because I don't want plaster in. These are really good little bricks. They're kind of solid. It doesn't have to look particularly beautiful. It's just temporary, isn't it? Well, no, it's going to be hidden, that's all. It's not temporary. This oh, is staying here. So you, we, we actually, instead of demolishing for once, we're starting to build and to yep. renovate. Nice, I like that. Whoa, 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 Louis, that's enough. Well, he just, he wants He's to just so excited about bringing the bricks up. I know. Well, look, look how many I'm using, Louis. Uh, Louis, you, could you clean the, the, the biggest bricks, if you can clean them, it means it's easier. No, no, uh, uh, no plaster, yeah. Plat. I'm just wetting this wall so that when we put the cement on, it adheres rather than if it's dusty and dry, the cement won't adhere to the block. A special trick, isn't it? I think most, uh, most builders do that, at least around here.
So there we go. We finally finished off the beam that was rotten. And then we've got this one in and it's just going to dry off now, the cement. So that means that we can start taking the wall down next vlog. If you enjoyed today's video, please give us a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed, please subscribe because we've got hours and hours of work still to come. And don't forget to ring that bell. Then you know when we'll be on again. See you all next time.